In Marietta, Georgia, game day starts at 9 in the morning, and that electric pep rally atmosphere is still strong 11 hours later as two future Power 5 quarterbacks get set for battle. St. Joe's Ohio State-bound Kyle McCord and the future Tennessee Volunteer, Marietta's Harrison Bailey. Kickoff coming your way next on ESPNU. In crimson and white, Marvin Harrison Jr. Another junior, so they've got that junior, junior connection going on. Throwing away from Harrison that time, but finding another junior, Malik Cooper, for a game. So first and 10 for the second time on this opening drive. A big gap up the middle. Plenty of space for Colby Burrell, the Buffalo commit. Finally taken down in the secondary by the safety, Rashad Torrance. He's trying to find success against him. Second down, Burrell trying to find a hole. Sheds tacklers as he reaches enemy territory. Well, we say tight end. You will not see a lot of Gilbert on the line blocking. They very much use him like a Rob Gronkowski role. Pressure coming. It was a designed screen. Pass didn't come out quick enough. It'll bring up third and ten. In Maryland, two years ago, they were played Oaks Christian out of California. The Buffalo commit, Colby Burrell. He's finding holes. Another first down after a gain of 12. Here's the Ohio State commit. He finds Marvin Harrison Jr. Sheds a tackler. Still on his feet. Cuts inside and finally dragged down to the 11-yard line after a gain of 30. That's that ESPN Junior 300 connection. Shades of Hall of Fame dad as they enter the red zone for the first time today. Nowhere to go. Blown up in the backfield. Carlos Cervente sniffed it out to deny Burrell. Sticking with the ground game, though, Burrell found a seam, may have hit his own guy, plowed forward to the five-yard line. And that six carries, 42 yards for the Buffalo commit. Throwing on third down, they're trying to, nowhere to go with it, suffocated immediately in the backfield. Eight there for Purdue, won the Paul Horning Award, most versatile player as a freshman. Pressure coming again, Bailey kept it, wrapped up and taken down on the one yard line. Anthony Lennigan in year number one, but now the freshmen have bloomed into seniors. And an opportunity on a big stage to make a statement in their first game. Ricky White. Empty set, three wide receivers to the right of Bailey, two to the left. But all in motion, quick pass. Here's the five-star Gilbert. A burst of speed, first down and more, barreling over the St. Joe's secondary. The ball came out. Was Gilbert down? The officials say he was. Gilbert out of the game right now. Right up the middle, second effort. And a Throwing on first down, slant route, it's caught. Taji Johnson, the Boston College commit. Another first down, gain of 17, and Marietta starting to roll. The five-star tight end, Gilbert, bottom of your screen. Bailey, back to pass. Swung out. Here's the Michigan State commit, Ricky White, turning up field. 35-yard attempt for the senior, Cooper Kipp. St. Joe's missed a field goal in the opening quarter. From straight away, Kipp, great snap. It's blocked. Great job by the St. Joe's prep defense. Jeremiah Trotter and Liam Johnson in on that. Was there a point, Marvin, where you felt like you saw something where you knew it at an early age that he? I'm a smaller guy, so uh, you know he, he runs his routes very well. And like I said, it's, it's, it's kind of difficult teaching him the, you know, the game because we're two different you know, size players. So, but I, he, he's been picking it up pretty well. Through it. Are you able to give him any advice, or has it changed so much since you went through it? It's kind of a re-education for yourself. Yeah, it's changed a little bit, but you know, I always tell him, you know, you have to just you know, focus on and whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever you know, program you feel. Both teams have been successful pressuring the quarterback. In on him again, wrapped up and taken down. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. Kyle McCord and the St. Joe's offense taking over at the 20. Hand off to the Buffalo commit, Colby Burrell. Steps up in the pocket, delivers a strike right on cue. 
connects with Marvin Harrison Jr. for a gain of 17 and a first down. Back to the run game. Here's Burrell, couple of stiff, stiff arms. Falling forward to the pylon. Empty backfield, a quarterback sneak for the Ohio State commit. And wrapped up, B.J. Ojolari all over McCord in the backfield to deny him the first down. Kicking in a timeout, so a replay of fourth and one. St. Joe's picks it up and more. How about the acceleration through the line? The Buffalo commit, Colby Burrell. 13 carries, 67 yards for Burrell. McCord back to pass, evades pressure, heaves it to the end zone. It's caught! Touchdown! St. Joe's prep, Malik Cooper ran the ball down, and prep strikes first on the road. Perfectly placed ball from the Ohio State, State commit for the score. Now watch him roll out and then square those shoulders up. Nicely placed ball as Cooper also plays a little quarterback himself. Michigan State commit Ricky White in motion. Pocket collapsing, throws over the middle. It's caught for a first down. And guess who? Eric Gilbert, a big time grab to move the chains. First third down pickup of the night. Yeah, able to convert to the big target right over the middle. Number one, rightly, is there in coverage. They do just that. Vidal jumping over St. Joe's linebacker core. Back to back first downs after a gain of 11. Has re written the record books in the process. A screen the whole way, somehow getting loose. Breaking three or four tackles, Kamani Vidal. But the momentum and the feel of this first half. Marietta trying to change that, a third and two. The Tennessee commit tucks and runs for the first down. A big hit as Bailey tries to get to the sideline. Good pocket, Bailey throws. It's caught, Arik Gilbert going up and hauling it in for a gain of 22. Bailey staring him down. Did he hang on? Yes, Arik Gilbert, another spectacular grab. First and goal, Bailey now not under center. Hands it to the running back, bulldozing into the end zone, Kamani Vidal, and Marietta an extra point away from evening this game right before halftime. On, on the previous drive. Pressure coming, McCord finds his running back, Burrell, turns up field, makes a couple men miss across the 30. Well, the Buffalo commit in the backfield with McCord. Quick pass this time, slant route, caught. Samir Hagens picks up another first down. Gain of 16 for this snap. He's been a three-year starter on that O-line. Great snap. McCord, quick trigger. It's caught. The entire country matching up here outside Atlanta. The defense certainly stole the show in the first half. Ricky White. Trying to get an electric start. Flag comes into the 20-yard line. Plenty of room for White. All the way past the 40, but this one likely coming back. Takes over at his own 30-yard line. The Tennessee commit. Quick trigger on first down. It's caught. Gabriel Durham Campbell, his first. Bailey, play action rolling out. Finds Taji Johnson for the first down. Always have to keep an eye on the five-star ESPN 300 tight end. Throwing to the opposite side of the field. To the 40-yard line, Taji Johnson. The Tennessee committed quarterback three for three. Set the pass again, a great pocket. Plenty of protection. A deep ball, it's caught! And Bailey and Gilbert, two seniors, take the roof off here in Marietta. For the Ohio State commit starting on his own 10-yard line, handing off. Colby Burrell barrels forward. That's a gain of eight on first down. 
They feed it right back to him. Picks up the first down, bounces outside. Great forward progress in, in the end zone. Three straight runs. This time St. Joe's airs it out, and it's caught by Marvin Harrison Jr. And they're moving clearly in the wrong direction. A first and 23, trying to get some of it back with the sophomore Barlow. That first half, something that needs to improve for St. Joe's here in the second half, trailing a score. Fired over the middle, it's hauled in. First down, needed 19, ended up getting 20. Increased passing game, airing it out again. Could not break the tackle. Harrison comes up with his fourth grab. It's a gain of eight. But St. Joe's prep, their eighth pre-snap penalty, moves them back to a third and seven. McCord trying to escape pressure, threw it away. It's intercepted. Threw it to only where Ezekiel Durham Campbell could catch it. And Marietta with all the momentum in this third quarter. And he is absolutely every bit of those five-star rating. Quick pass, caught over the middle. It's a first down as Marietta picks up. Push the defender off. Hurrying to the line, converting the third down. Ricky White, the Michigan State commit, picks up four. Pressure coming. Bailey gets it out quickly, but it's intercepted. Anthony Lennigan. Room to run, tracked down from behind. Kamani Vidal kept a touchdown off the board, but a huge play. The defensive lineman, the senior, Anthony Lennigan. Antonio Chata out to attempt the 22-yard field goal. St. Joe's 0 for 1 on field goals today. Got blocked the first time. This time it's up, and it's good. Hand off on first down, bouncing off tacklers. It's a gain of 12. Point lead at the start of this fourth quarter, a third and three. St. Joe's picks it up with the ground game. Colby Burrell barreling forward. 98 yards on 17 carries. Play action, quick pass out to Harrison Jr. Makes a man miss. Carries on his back for a gain of seven. State, Penn State, Michigan, and Florida. Right back to the run game, short of the first down. Pulled down by the middle linebacker, Carlos Cervantes. So Deciding to run up the gut, drilled at the line of scrimmage. The Tennessee commit, B.J. Ojolari. Big players, big game, and the senior delivers the tackle of the game, headed to Tennessee. Marietta leading by four, going with some trickery on first down. A run up the gut on second down. A gain of seven. Trying to hang on to this four-point lead. Pass is caught on first down. Malik Cooper really couldn't escape tacklers there. Picks up four on the grab, though. In some of the short passing game, but get McCord on the move as well. Another quick hitter to the ground game, swallowed up immediately by that defensive front, and it's the Tennessee commit again. B.J. Ojolari swallowing up Burrell. Has completed zero of his last four attempts, one of those an interception. Back to pass here. Escapes pressure, tucks and runs. Plows ahead with a four-point lead. Up the middle, waiting for space, bouncing. In between tacklers, still on his feet past the 45. Kamani Vidal. Play clock winding down, they give it right back to the senior. Jeremiah Trotter Jr., first to get him. Baker's more involved. Pressure coming immediately. McCord steps up, finds Harrison Jr. First down and more to the 40. First and 10 in. Side Marietta territory at the 46. Here's McCord over the middle. It's caught. Anthony rightly pickup of 22 in this St. Joe's offense. Coming up with what could be the best drive of the game. Inside the red zone, first and 10. Jump ball in the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown St. Joe's, Samir Higgins.
and Prep jumps in front with a minute and 18 seconds left in this game. Player Trotter learned, lined up right across from him. Five come, Bailey steps up, it's a deep ball. In and out of the hands of Ricky White. That could have won the game and the Michigan State commit drops it. 10, only seven seconds went off the clock. Bailey escaping pressure, running left, trying to set his feet, keeping the play alive, just decides to run it smartly. A big hit, that'll tack on 15 yards into St. Joe's territory. Here's the Tennessee commit. Protection's good again. Looking for Ricky White. This time he's got it. Turns up field his trip to the 25, but it's another first down as Marietta keeps this drive alive. A 30-yard pickup to the Michigan State commit. The offensive line. He's been compared to Rob Gronkowski, the five-star tight end, Bailey with pressure in his face, throws it, it's caught! Ricky White, touchdown Marietta! Blue Devils pull in front with just 14 seconds remaining. The Michigan State commit atones for his drop earlier and delivers with what could be the game-winning touchdown. Final play of the game. Marvin Harrison Jr. following blockers. He gave the football up. Marietta falls on it and closes out a dramatic victory. Marietta has only won one state championship. That was back in 1967. They have the talent to do it again. It starts with a dramatic win against St. Joe's out of Philly. 21-17 the final. A fun one from Georgia. For our entire crew, Craig Hobart, I'm Jay Alter saying so long. High school football delivers under the Friday Night Lights.